What's up? Uh, welcome to Vegas. I'm here on a quick little uh, conference where I have to host a few panels. So I've been kind of out of it for a little bit, but I did want to jump in quickly and say thank you. Over 30,000 subscribers now, so that's insane. Thank you very much. But today's video is on the R5 Mark II. Once again, top five that I wish it has or that it comes out with that haven't been announced yet. These are kind of different, so stick with me. All right, let's get started. And before anything, consider subscribing if you haven't already. I talk about cameras specifically for video. Here we go. Now, I'm gonna go in order, one to five, but none of them have an order of importance. Let's start with number one. Number one, security passcode on the cameras. Now, honestly, this has been a thing that number of people, Tony Northrup specifically is somebody I bring up who wants this feature, but honestly, I know a lot of people are like, I don't wanna to have to unlock my camera every time and it'll be difficult. Here's an idea that'll make it super fast to unlock the camera, but if someone takes it, they won't be able to do it. Fingerprint on the shutter. When you turn on your camera, you hold the finger on the shutter, it unlocks immediately. Then you can use it. You waste no time. You all turn it on and usually hold the camera that way anyway. So do it that way. Finger passcode. And if you need to get past that fingerprint, because for whatever reason you burned off your, your fingertips and you have to do something else, then you could input it like a little code or something like that. But for quick, for speed, heck, I unlock my phone with my fingerprint. A lot of phones actually have that functionality. Put it in the camera. We need these cameras not to be stolen anymore, and that severely makes the ability to steal them okay. go down. Here we go, next one. Second one, number two. Dual CF Express card slots. Now, this is not something that they normally put on this level. They'll usually put it on their high-end cameras to have like those faster speed cards and double of them, but let's do it on the R5 because SD cards at this point, although super common, are unfortunately not enough when you are doing raw recording. And imagine the ability to do dual card raw recording or something like that, or really high bitrate recording because video specs are starting to get a lot higher and you need faster cards that SD cards really just can't handle as easily. So let's do it that way. Next up. Next up, Black Magic Raw capability. Now, I know they're not gonna do that internally, and that's fine because they've got their own internal raw recording, and you can only do so much compression, and Canon hasn't done a bad job when it comes to compressing their raw files for the 8K video. But can we get that external recording for Black Magic monitors as well? We've got it for Atomos but I prefer Blackmagic Raw because of its capability of working natively with DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere. Leave ProRes Raw to the Apple fans. Next up. Number four, a more flexible and higher nit LCD screen. Possibly bigger, but we know we're not gonna get bigger, but something that is a little bit more flexible than just a flip screen and brighter because I'm standing right here in the sun in Las Vegas but I can't see myself. Not that I really need to because I'm looking at the camera, but if I take a look to the side at the LCD, so much reflection. The nits are not bright enough on that screen for me to really make out what's going on and if I miss out any details. For example, I won't be able to tell if I'm in focus or not. I'm just relying on that Canon autofocus. <laughs> but now let's go to the fifth one. Number five, and I know this is not gonna happen, but it's a wish list, and this I really wish for and that's AI functionality and capability off the camera. Now, there are rumors that the autofocus is gonna incorporate a lot of that AI, but I do not believe, but I would wish, that it had even more functionality. AI when it comes to photo manipulation. Imagine taking a photo, or even doing video, but at the very least taking a photo, there's a bunch of people in the picture, and you could just remove them from the picture in the camera before you output them and still have RAW to work with. That's kind of what I think. Now, a pipe dream would be, imagine that you can get it to do that with a video, to where you can manipulate certain portions of your video. Let's say you don't have a fast lens, like you're using a kit lens or something, but with AI on the camera, you can have it set up so that it can digitally blur the background using AI and still make your photo look sweet if that's what you want. 
and focus in on certain items because phones can do it, but they have processors that are designed to do it. Cameras processors are designed to really process pictures quickly. But if you could incorporate AI to make either photos or even video do that funny blurring trick that phones do all the time, that would be nuts and amazing. But what do you guys think? What are some wanted features of the R5 Mark II or in any camera? Uh, leave a comment down below. And as always, you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus, and I'm out. And yeah, I'll be in Vegas for a little while longer. This panel is fun. You do. See you guys later.